All right, so I'm here with Mariah. Mariah, how old are you? I'm 22. Are you originally from Arizona? Um, yes. What part of Arizona? Um, Tucson. And what brings you all the way out here to Phoenix? Um, I heard that um, Phoenix is pretty good with helping like homeless and stuff. So I came out here. So you came out here for the programs or what? Yeah. How long have you been homeless for? Um, since I was 17, for five years now. For five years. How did you end up homeless? Um, so my mom was in a, um, she has Section 8, right? So we kind of got into an argument, and I got, um, what is it called? Domestic violence. So the Section 8 didn't, didn't tolerate Section 8. So, I mean, the, the Section 8 didn't tolerate, um, what is it called? I'm sorry. <laughs> they don't tolerate those kind of charges, right? Yeah. So, so they kicked me out. They kicked me off the lease. So I've been homeless ever since. And that was at 17? Yeah. And what have you been doing all those five years out here on the streets to survive? Um, like whatever it takes to, like, you know what I mean? Do you ever panhandle out here? Yeah. What about boosting? Yeah. Um, yeah, whatever it takes to make like, a little bit of money. Also, um, I clean houses, maybe. I've walked a couple of dogs, maybe. How dangerous is it out here for a young girl to be homeless out here? It's scary. <laughs> is it? Yeah, you just have to watch, like, watch who you talk to and but also, like, I don't know, have an open mind, you know what I mean? Yeah. What's one of the worst experiences you went through being out here homeless? Um, probably, um, uh, being locked in a room for, like, a week and a half. Yeah. How did that happen? Um... I went up to a car and he told me, he told me um, if I want to go get something to eat and he ended up taking me to his house. I ended up having to break a window to get out and stuff. You escaped from that situation? Yeah. Um, did you report it to the police? No. Well, where did this happen? Was it here in Phoenix? Um, yeah. Off of 17th and Book Guy, I think. Yeah. And why didn't you report it to the police? Um, because I thought I was going to get in trouble. You know? Is that the only time you had a bad experience out here? No. But... I just didn't want to get in trouble, you know what I mean? Yeah. Why would you get in trouble, though? I don't know. You, you think the cops were just going to go out there and arrest you? No, but, like, I don't know. I thought it was my fault for, for even talking to the person, you know? Yeah. Um, do you have any family out here in Phoenix? Uh, no, I don't. Do you still keep in contact with your family back in Tucson? Yeah. I called them, like, yesterday. W what do they tell you? Um, they want me to go home. And what about you? Do you want to go back home? Uh, well, I'm homeless in, in Tucson, too, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's the same thing. So they're not offering you to go back to like a room or their house or anything like that? Mm. They just want you to go back to Tucson? Yeah. Do you have any siblings? Any brothers and sisters? Yeah. I have um, two sisters and one brother. How old are they? Are they older or younger than you? 
uh, an older sister, an older brother, and a younger sister. So I'm like the middle child. How old are the older ones? Uh, 25, 20, 24, and I'm 22. And the youngest is 16. Do they have their own apartments or their own houses? No. No? Not a small one. And what about substances? Do you mess with any substances out here? Uh, Do you mess with the blues out here? Yeah, being out on the streets, honestly, you have to, like, you have to, to stay up and stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the reason why you ended up messing with those? Yeah. Um, how long have you been messing with the blues? With the blues, um, I already started messing with them. So, like six months. You know those things are the devil, right? They really are. That's what everybody says. And why did you choose to do it? Um, for me, it's like an escape. Yeah. Is it just to numb the pain or the situation that you're going through right now? Yeah. Yeah. Are you trying to get off of them? Are you trying to look for any programs or anything like that? Uh, honestly, I am, but then again, I don't want to go to like no rehab or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. My, I heard um, there was a there was a medicine that they gave you, but I haven't really looked into it because you need an address for all of this stuff, yeah. and I don't have an address, so that's that's why. Well, there's CBI right down the street. You could just walk in there. Yeah, and they give methadone like daily or something. Yeah. But I think you need an address for all of that. Well, if you don't have an address, I think they have a, a spot where you can stay there. Like, they have a shelter. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, if we have any younger viewers watching this interview and they're thinking about trying blues or running the streets, what kind of advice would you give them? Don't do it. You know what I mean? It's not worth it. Um, it's really hard out here. Especially if you're a female, like, no one gives a fuck about you, honestly. I wouldn't recommend doing it. Stay home, stay with your family, and, you know what I mean? Family is number one, right? Yeah. Um, what do you think someone could have told you before you started running the streets and messing with the blues and it and all this stuff like what is something that someone could have told you that would have changed your mind that is a hard ass world out here i mean no one gives a fuck if you have any loved ones that stumble across this interview do you want to say anything to them um I just want to tell them that it's not their fault, you know what I mean? I choose to be out here, and I appreciate them for for looking out, you know what I mean? And I'm sorry. All right, well, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay with me using this on my YouTube channel? Um, yes. And just in case some of my subscribers want to reach out to you with any sort of donations or help, do you have any contact information that you want to share? Like an email or anything um, like that? I have an email address. mvp.strawberry at gmail.com Do you want to spell it out? mvp.strawberry at gmail.com all right, Strawberry, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you.